Hey, welcome back. Hey, this is a makeup video because a lot of you guys were talking about how you liked this eye look uh, from one of my videos, my anxiety videos. Yeah, my anxiety videos. A lot of you guys talked about that. When I started this video, because like I am doing this intro last, when I started this video, I wanted to go with a different color, but I ended up going with this eye look. I hope you guys like it. But for the most part, um, it is a very crazy video. I'm going to edit it anyway, and I hope you guys enjoy it. Uh, but, um, yeah, in this video, we're talking about... It's a real talk video. That's how I got my cup of tea. <laughs> it's a real talk video, and I'm essentially talking about... Um, you know teaching people how to respect your boundaries this comes to just people friends family colleagues there's certain pe things that people don't need to know or they don't need to do or they don't need to treat you a particular way if it's gonna come at the expense of you being you know doing or saying something or whatever or doing something out of the ordinary that you don't have to do then no we need to teach ourselves how to respect uh, people's boundaries and teach them how to respect our boundaries. Very, very important. I wanted to film this video because it is very important to me as well. Um, for the most part, uh, because I'm that person who lets the people that I love um, get away with certain things, with treating me badly or speaking to me a certain way or whatever. I let people do that shit and I'm so sorry. <laughs> I let people do that shit and it's not okay. Whether it be friends, partners, family, whatever. Um, so for the most part, watch this video if you want to see it and I'll see you in the next video. It's the first time I do a makeup video in a long time. So get ready with me. So check it out. Until then, school's in session, girls and boys. <laughs> Bye. Oh... Hey, <laughs> I know it's been a while, um, uh, and the view could be a little bit different. Yes, we're sitting in a different location in my home, and I kind of thought that, you know what, <laughs> I'm trying to get the beauty room slash office, whatever people call it nowadays, uh, ready for, um, you know, filming and all of that jazz, and... You know, so I kind of thought that, okay, today we're going to do a real talk video because some people have been asking me, where are the real talk videos? So, next part, we're here, we've set it up, I'm sitting on the floor in my lounge and I kind of thought, you know what? I am going to chat with you guys while I do my makeup, okay? I suppose you've seen the title down below. The title essentially says how to teach people to respect your boundaries because a lot of people, including myself, tend to forget that, you know, people aren't allowed to treat you a certain way. It's not right and we allow it and we need to be cognizant of the fact that, you know what, at some point in time, you need to stop treating me like this you need to do it like you need to get your life basically i'm going to be using this palette right here this is the juvia's plus palette and this is the nubian 2 a lot of you guys seem to like my makeup looks recently in my previous uh beauty room and a lot of them i was using this palette so we're not gonna get too crazy oh, but look at those colors if I look above, I'm actually using my uh, vlogging camera because I seem to have misplaced my battery for my DSLR. So I ordered one and it's only going to come next week. So we're just, we're just going to go with that. Okay. So for the most part, the reason why I'm doing this video is because we need to sort of talk about how we allow people to disrespect our boundaries, how we allow people to treat us a certain way, which is really not the right way. And why? Why do we do that? As a person, you have boundaries, okay? We all have boundaries. Oops, trying to get my brushes out, girl. So as people, we've got boundaries. Unfortunately, this camera is not going to be as great as my DSLR, but you know, it's a story for another day. So as people, we've got boundaries and we know that a lot of the time you you can't you can't be treating me a particular way and then just me allowing it right but let's be honest most of the time we allow it why why do i allow a person to talk down to me or talk trash to me and then i keep quiet and act like there's nothing wrong with it at the end of the day i am one of these people i allow people to treat me like crap I allow people to talk down to me. I allow people to 
sort of, you know, treat me in such a way that I wouldn't even treat them. And the sad part is I continue to allow it. I preach that no to my friends. I'm always like, no, don't allow people to treat you that way. That's wrong. Blah, blah, blah. You need, you need, you need to stand your ground. You need to whatever, but I don't do it. I don't stand my ground. I allow people to walk all over me sometimes. And especially a lot of the time, the people that we allow to walk all over us are often family, friends, people who are often very, very close to us. And it's rubbish. It's rubbish. At the end of the day, you work hard for what you have. You treat people a particular way. And if you treat them in a good way, you would expect them to treat you the same way, right? Right. So why aren't you doing that, Gatlo? The thing is, I've come up with five, five, five rules that you need to teach yourself and teach the people that are around you in terms of how to treat you, how to respect your boundaries. First thing is first, take notice of when people treat you badly, okay, or say horrible things to you. You need to be aware that people are doing those things because if you're not aware that someone is treating you badly, then you won't know that it's wrong, right? You're not going to know that it's wrong if somebody is saying to you, no, but when I, every time treating you, like speaking down, talking down to you, right? Or speaking to you as if they're talking to a five-year-old, right? You're not going to change behavior that you're not aware of. So at the end of the day, you need to be aware of why people are treating you a certain way. And if they're treating you badly, then you need to be aware that they're treating you badly. You know what I mean? So anyway, rule number one, always be aware of when people are treating you badly. Take notice of the bad behavior and correct it from that moment. So correct it from the moment you take notice of it. The moment somebody says, oh, but you're a bitch and you don't like people calling you a bitch then correct the behavior. Because if you're not going to correct the behavior, then the behavior will continue. For the most part, that's just how that's gonna work out. Okay. Second rule, it's okay to say no. It's really okay to say no. There's nothing wrong with telling somebody that no, I'm not gonna go there. Or no, I don't have money right now. So unfortunately, I can't give you what you need. A lot of the time, we are often broke trying to help out other people when we know we can just say no, we use our last cent to help out other people. Be like, hi, Katla, please, can you borrow me this, 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 this? And it's your last cent, but you borrow that person the money. Why are you borrowing the person the money? Why? If it's not necessary for you to borrow them the money, then why? Why are you borrowing them that money? You know, at the end of the day, we need to take cognizance of the fact that you cannot be sitting in a position where you can't even sustain yourself but you use the last of what you have to help someone else. At the end of the day, it's noble, it's modest. Really, we appreciate you, but you're not a saint, okay? You're not a saint. One thing we need to all understand here is that we're not saints. So if I don't have the money, I really don't have the money. What do you expect me to do? And if somebody gets confrontational with you and then decides that, oh, okay, so it's a problem that I'm asking you, hey, what, 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 as if, you'd be doing them a favor to borrow them that money. If they get confrontational with you, let me tip you. It's okay to walk the fuck away. Okay? Walk away. Walk away from a situation that does not serve you. Walk away from a relationship where your partner disrespects you by constantly, you know, you find out that your partner is, you know, uh, uh, faffing around with other people or your partner is just ill-treating you. They're beating you up. They're treating you badly. These things are very important to take note of and change them. So the second one is it's okay to say no and it's okay to walk away. At the end of the day, you're doing yourself a service, even if it comes at the expense of doing somebody else a disservice. This color is called Jezebel, just in case you might want to pick up this palette. You can find it at, on Muse Beauty. It's called Jezebel. So the third thing is assert yourself. Show people what you will not tolerate. This is where you need to stand up for yourself. Whether you like it or not, you're going to have to stand up for yourself because people will only treat you the way you allow them to treat you, right? It's almost like I'm preaching to myself when I say this because I'm very, very bad at asserting myself, especially with the people that I love and care about. It is so important for us to have this conversation right now, okay?
So assert yourself, tell people what you will not tolerate. You will not speak to me that way. You will not make me... And you know, a lot of the time people who talk down to others are often manipulative people. So you will not speak to me that way. You will not manipulate me into doing something for you when I really don't have the means to do it. So if I don't have the means to do it... Oh, I'm using a different foundation this time. Hey, I just thought, okay, let me just use another foundation. I'm using the Lancome Tante Edole. Oh, oh, before I put on my foundation, this is my primer. This is a primer that I've been using quite a bit right now. This is the Maybelline Master Prime Illuminating Primer. I kind of like it. As much as um, a lot of the time I use, um, what's this? Matte uh, foundation. I really, really like this illuminating primer. It does the most. I hardly put any of it. So you have to assert yourself, stand up for yourself, tell the person in question that you are not going to speak to me that way. You're not going to speak to me. In my language, we say, You're not going to do that. So you're not going to speak. Oof. I forget how perfumed this. Um... <clears throat> wow, it smells like perfume how perfumed this foundation is if you do not like perfumed foundations i don't suggest you go for this because girl it is perfumed for days um and i just feel like this shade is slightly on the darker side yeah it doesn't make me as bright and alive but that's why we got concealer okay so assert yourself right there in the moment tell that person that you know what you're not going to speak to me that way i i'm not your friend value the next point i want to mention is value yourself value yourself enough to know that you deserve better you deserve for people to treat you better than they already are because if you don't then you're not gonna do the things that will show people that you know what at the end of the day you are not going to talk to me like this is this right yeah it's coming right coming right a lot of the time one thing that i have noticed is that people tend to forget how to address you and when i say tend to forget how to address you i don't mean um you know that they have to bow down to you or whatever that you're some sort of king or god or whatever no i don't mean that i mean people tend to forget to address you because they won't you know somebody will send you um Maybelline concealer. This is the instant anti-aging rewind concealer. I'm gonna put this underneath here. Some people will forget that if you're gonna ask me what kind of foundation is this, or if you're gonna ask me, Kat, please tell me where you get this apple cider vinegar, or if you're gonna ask me something along those lines, then please address me correctly. Don't just drop me a message and then say, "How much is this apple cider vinegar? How much is whatever, whatever?" Um how about hello how are you doing today oh hi ha 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 how about you greet me first and treat me wow 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 <laughs> today <laughs> so don't slide up into my dms and then be like okay yeah all right all right all right we're coming right we're coming right don't slide up into my dms no hello no how are you doing no how's everything blah 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 i just wanted to know you're just sliding up into my dms and you're on some cat uh how much is this uh do a video on this eh so i must sit on my time and then do a video on abc that'll make you happy i uh, don't be like that guys no don't be like that i actually hate my makeup application today i hate it the only thing I have no problem with are my eyes. That's honestly it. You know, people try to throw subtle shade. People try to throw subtle shade on us and say funny things, you know? And it's just too late. It's going to be a cool setula. Just like, oh, okay. You want to talk to me like you're coming down a mountain cliff. Right. We just keep quiet. We don't say a single thing. We just push it over to the side and we keep it moving. But honestly speaking, guys, no. Sometimes you need to know how to treat people. Sometimes you need to know how to be respectful. I'm going to put on a little bit of contour because my face is looking a whole, whole, a little bit of bronze on my bed. Because my face is looking a whole, whole, whole lot pale right now. For the bronzer 
So sometimes, honestly, boundaries are so important. I think we allow people to treat us a certain way when we really just don't have to. Like you are the bigger person, you are in control of your life. And especially if somebody is going to drain you, they're going to drain the living daylights out of you, then they're not worth it. So you are in control of your life. You are in control of what you want from people. You are in control of how you want people to address you. I'm just putting a little bit of this. I love this. This is the Paradise Ecstatic, um, what's this? Um mascara i'm just putting a little bit of it on to my top eyelashes because i'm going to be going to install some lashes right now okay so 15,000 hours later lashes on my, my eyes uh a change of a t-shirt i'm finally back to close off this video so for the most part um, I know that this video was a little bit probably choppy and changey, unfortunately, and my wording was all over the place. Unfortunately, it's, it's very hard getting back to doing a, um, a makeup video uh, <laughs> when you haven't done one in a really, really long time, when your location has changed, when you're trying to get accustomed with everything. But I really wanted to sit down and film this Real Talk video with you guys. And I hope that you got something out of it. I hope that um the focus wasn't out if it was i do apologize for that uh, i am using a camera that i typically wouldn't use to do sit down videos um uh, but <laughs> we can't get it back for the most part teach people how to respect your boundaries assert yourself learn that it's okay to say no there isn't a problem with saying no at the end of the day like it's 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 fine it's fine if you feel like you're going to lose something from saying no or you're going to lose a friendship from saying no then that's a friendship that you are not supposed to have teach people notice bad behavior notice when somebody is becoming a little bit too manipulative and trying to change your mindset to become a certain way notice those kinds of things because it's ridiculous you you don't have to be in a position where uh, uh um you know you you have to it's at the expense of yourself you have to change who you are or do things that you wouldn't want to do that are at the expense of you or your livelihood for the sake of making someone else happy it's not okay um uh, for the most part i hope you enjoyed this video i'm so sorry it was all over the place i am a whole entire mess today i'm gonna go and i'll see you guys in the next video